They see jaguars, but in the night. Mm. In this area, they can see, they see jaguars in the night. All right, we're back and today we're heading out on about a 25 minute journey outside the city of Quibdo. And during today's journey, we get to see more of the nature here in the state of Choco. Just like in Quibdo, you see mainly two groups of people, native indigenous and Afro-Colombians. All right, we're here, another small Colombian village. How you say that? I'm gonna have to get it right, but uh, we're here in this town. Ace, Eddie, they over there doing their thing. And we're gonna go around and see what the small town life is like here in Choco. All right, should be interesting, let's go. These less known and smaller towns in Colombia cater mainly to local tourism. But if you're an international traveler and you want to go off the beaten path, then you should definitely come check out different parts of Choco. This path we're walking on here takes us down to the river entry point, but along the way you'll see small businesses that cater to other visitors that come for the same reasons, which is to enjoy the river and the nature surrounding it. Hold up. You can see along this walk, it's just another example of how diverse Colombia is, whether it's the people, culture, even the landscape and terrain. Even though the construction here is more simple and basic, it's less intrusive on the natural environment. There's a certain harmony that exists here that you don't get in some of the bigger cities. You can tell most people here weren't used to having foreigners visit their town, but even still, most of them were relatively warm. Some even inviting us into their house, although with a bit of precaution. I can't get it, guys. I'm too heavy. <laughs> Take, take a look at the floors, you see that? Yeah. Same thing everywhere, man. Yeah. Ecuador, Nicaragua, Honduras. Hola. People be chilling. Hola. Yeah. Como estas? Bien, gracias. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Que bellísimo, Marca. Un placer. Thank you. But this is the best. Um, for sure. Well, people, people are, you know, started to, you know, building some uh, hotels. Yeah, infrastructure. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And this is based off of the fact that people want to go to the waterfall, maybe do some trekking around here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people just, you know, spend a night here, and you, they go to the river. And We're heading down, head down to the the boat ramp at the end of the village here, and. It's pretty warm. We, we walked through, we saw some of the buildings, a lot of decent footage, and then we're gonna go down. And this is the river here. So the boat ramp, we gotta get one of the guys to give us a ride down here. Yeah, so this is the last, I think, restaurant, I believe is there. And then this is the area where you catch the boats. Is that a bird? What kind of bird is that? Is that somebody making noise? We'll take a look at this river. All right. 
Nice. You're enjoying it, bro. This is nice right here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, man. I can be sick, relax, all day. Just give me a hammock. I repel it on. I got like a whole bunch. Oh, you got a whole bunch of what? I got a whole slab of repellent on. Oh, repellent, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. either or, I don't see any. I did see some bugs, but they were like under, minding their own business. <laughs> now the thing is to get over and catch this boat, and we're heading to the waterfall. Oh yeah, that smells good. Plantains I like to eat. <laughs> Alright, let's walk on down. They got the, everything going down here. Got a lot more food. My fish front leg. Buenos dias. Como esta? Si, es muy, muy bueno. Muy frito. Okay, oh, you already got people out there chilling in the water. Plenty of people out there chilling. The boats here, these guys. Yeah. So we're off. This rock is the rock of the devil. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool trip. A lot of different type of trees out here. That's for sure. We are, we are into the jungle. They see jaguars, but in the night. Mm. In this area, they can see, they see jaguars in the night, but Damn. they are, they are scared of us. Okay. It's not the opposite, you know? Right? Yeah, yeah. So right now we're good, we're safe. Until night. Nighttime, <laughs> they they like, yeah, they don't see nothing. Yeah. We got them. Yeah. So at night we don't see, they see. Yes. So, that's okay. the name, Cascada Sal de Frutas. 110 meters. So almost there. Yep. Yeah. I can see this where it might be slippery down here. 
Yeah. So we'll see what's up. I, I thought it was going to be more slippery, well, Okay, so we got to skip, hop, a jump. I'm going to secure the camera before I go across. Okay, so we made it. Uh, took some, some hiking. Not a lot, but it is warm out here. So, But you do have to walk on stuff like this at certain parts. So make sure you come out with the correct footwear. If your footwear is slacking and you got the wrong type of thing, you, you know, you can have an incident. You can still have an incident, but, you know. Uh, and then appropriate gear. I'm, I'm not planning on getting the water, although I do still have my shorts. We'll see. I might change my mind. And the waterfall, I thought it was going to be a natural waterfall. It's more of a man-made waterfall, right? Yeah, what you say? It's a dam. You told me it's a dam they made. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's good for the, the community. Right. Now it serves as a tourist destination. Exactly. So what's, what's up, man? You about to get in? Yeah, I need to get in because, you know, this is this is kind of hot. Yeah, yeah. So the water is very cold, so that's going to help. Hey, but is the water fresh? Is it coming from a fresh source? That's what I, yeah, that's what I wonder. Yeah, it's yeah. fresh. It's just the best, you know? Okay. If you, are, if you have a hangover, yeah. you get into it, and you're going to be good. Gotcha. So, we already got some people down there. As you can see behind me, they already enjoying it. Look at these little, look at these little formations right here. Look at this. This is kind of cool. Oh, I'm slippery. Hope y'all like this video, y'all. Give y'all a good shot. All right, we fly the drone, and then we'll decide if I'm gonna get in or not. All right, so that wraps it up. Just walking back. Gotta make it to the town before 4 p.m. Just walk through it and show you some of the, the feel of what it's like here in this, this jungle environment. Yes. It's bow and arrow. Si. Sí. Si, sí, okay. Si, arco, arco. Arco. Si. Sí. Eh, ¿Por pescar o...? No, para matar pajarita. Living off the land. Off the land. They got some little fish right here. Hopefully, I won't fall in. Yeah, Look at that big ass spider right there. Where? On the boat. Where? Oh, damn. Huge, boy. Oh, shit. That nigga moving. On this side of the boat, man. You ready? I'm ready. 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 I'm
to, I would definitely advise if you're in this part of Colombia, you can come out to Cordobo for a day, let's say two days. Second day, come out here, head back, first day, whatever. Ride out here, it's only about 30 minutes driving to the town. From the town, another 30 minutes. And then uh, this boat ride, another 20 minutes. And it depends on how long you want to stay there. Same on the reverse, on the way back. So. Gracias, amigo. Okay. Es que la gente piensa que yo hablo español, pero si yo hablo. Él también habla español. Sí, un poco. Vamos a ver. Más. Más, no. Yo le respondo. Más. Pero yo sé que la Z. ¿De dónde es la Z? Yo, yo soy de Haití. Agüita para mi gente. Ay, ¿Qué me aguardo? ¡Que mi gente! ¡Que gente! ¡Que mi gente! ¡Que mi gente! ¡Que mi gente! Damn, little dudes, as soon as he went in and bought them the, the snacks, they went straight to the... the wall. They enjoy themselves. Speaking of enjoyment, towards the end of September and the beginning of October, there are a lot of celebrations in Cuibdo that lead up to the big festival at San Pancho. Regrettably, I wasn't able to stay along my trip to witness any of that, but we did see a lot of small events leading up to San Pancho, which was about a week after our trip. Crypto, if you're looking for nightlife, you can get it here at Yeti Lao, the most famous nightclub in the area. There's plenty of other bars, street food, and sometimes you can even catch some special events right in the street.
Okay, this wraps up our third and final video on Choco. If you didn't see my other two videos, make sure you go back and check them out. And if you did, thanks for watching.